Hi everybody, and welcome to a brand new LP uh, on my channel. And this is um, a different sort of game. This is Home, a unique horror adventure, and a unique horror adventure. Um, basically, I just discovered this um, <clears throat> last week when they updated the uh, PSN. Uh, the, when they updated the game list on PSN. Uh, got it for £2, so it's relatively cheap. It's uh, £4, I think, if you want to buy it. If you're a PlayStation Plus member, you can get it for 2 quid. So, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Pretty short, about an hour and a half in total, if you're going f to look through everything. So I'm going to try and... I'll try and show off everything in this game, so let's just jump straight in, shall we? So it's down here, and yes, so this is all about sound <clears throat> and all, and you know, just about ambience. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head, where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. And here we go. So you've got two controls in this game. You've got the up. You've got a uh, movement. You can push your flashlight up and look up by pressing up on the left hand exit. And you interact with stuff by pressing... If I can show that off. Yeah, you open doors by pressing the X button. That house. Where was I? So, what's the point of this game? Well... Oh shit. What's that? There was a body. Lying on the floor. Who was it? And if you click on it again, I didn't recognise his face. He was still kind of warm. <clears throat> so yeah, the whole point of this game is you are a guy who is... <coughs> shit. <laughs> completely alone. It, it, it wakes up alone in a house and he doesn't know where the hell he is, he doesn't recognise his surroundings it's up to you to basically just make your way home, that's pretty much the whole game the desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer I didn't want to sneak but did I open the drawer? let's look, receipts, pens a blurry photo, looked like a store of some kind why did this look so familiar? So yeah, there are uh, dialogue options as you go through the game. Hang on, blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. Should have laughed at that. I realised there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of the out of there. So yeah, this what you do in the whole game. You're just looking and analysing stuff to try and get a pit, clear picture of what. Um, it's kind of going on, trying to get a picture of what happened to you. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did it hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset, she looked afraid. I shoot my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole point. You're just searching through shit to find out what's going on. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. So yeah, and you don't really know anything at this point. <laughs> the an old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor liquor, liquor bottles there among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. And there's something on the floor. What's on the floor? A black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife. I guess there was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Let's take it. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Probably not, though. I have to say, um, <clears throat> I do like the artwork. It's actually really nicely done. And it's... There were scrolls, all kinds of random scraps of paper and notes about some kind of water tower. Do you mean the one by the old train yard? Um, yeah, we won't go downstairs yet. The point is to... 
A thin grey mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic or exhausted. Did I free it? Yes. And it runs into the mouse hole. The whole point is to just um, check everything. Have a look at everything that can be uh, examined. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use from a caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Good question. A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It's been moved a lot. There seems to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Let's push it. If I, dis I, I it depressed smoothly into the wall, I heard a, a faraway click somewhere. Well, um, okay. What I'm going to do now is what I didn't do last time, actually. I am going to go back upstairs. And I'm going to see if... Just loot through all the rows upstairs again. Just to see if that click did do something. Because I never checked. Um, that's the room I started in. <clears throat> As I was saying, I did like the... Uh, I do really like the artwork. Uh, and I also think the sound design in this game is absolutely brilliant. It does a really good job of kind of immersing you in the in what's going on. Okay. Nothing here. Let's move on. Let's go downstairs. And I don't should I no, let's just go downstairs. We've checked everything we can up here. Let's go down to the next floor. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn and there was mud caked all over my shoes. I'm a mess. Sent to this room. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered, I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. Something on the floor. There was a photo development tray line on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty, pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Hmm. I guess that means I'll be finding trees at some point. Fascinating. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Fuck. Just random furniture. Who leaves the furniture in front of the front door? Ugh, assholes. Right, let's move on. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? You stay shut. Let's go. <coughs> that did fuck me up the first time I played it. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led. I guessed it led to the kitchen. Hand up. Let's go through here. And nothing. What's this? The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I've found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. So there we go. We found some ladders. There was a ladder going underground, where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Well, don't really have a choice. Looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. So, something on the floor. Footprints in the dirt, a little more than one kind, and a lot of traffic. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, I said, it gives off a really creepy vibe, this game. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail, st near the old rail station. That comes into play. Pretty much telling you what you're going to be going through. Point. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. Uh, this is a bad idea. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, trying to find some kind of information. I checked everything! Moving on. Oh, Rachel, 
Please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find a way out first, and I need to see what else was down there. What? That's a table with shit on it. What made him want to say? Ugh. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Let's take it, just in case. I took the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Let's move on. So... We have to go deeper, don't we? Let's go. I love that sound. The light is so cool. The sound of the light is so cool. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? My god. Dripping. What's this? Some kind of homemade rack, slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that. Did they? The fact that it's caked in old blood, I would say. Someone used it. Da. Yep. That's the first instance of a... Uh, you can point your thing up and it uh, gives you something else to look at. Rusted hooks, like the kind you find in a butcher, hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Don't know. Moving on. Really made shells. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> they looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. What? They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. There you go. That makes sense. <laughs> the labels were worn and slick. But I couldn't... I could still see the warnings. I like that animation. <laughs> so I should... Uh, let's check the other cage. Looked like a cage? It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. That place was getting worse all the time. I knew I had to keep moving. So, I could go down. Let's check to the left first. You have to pretty much check every single nook and cranny just to make sure you don't miss anything. Desk looked old. It was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and and illegible notes were written behind beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. That also comes into play a little bit later on, with something else we find. None of it made any sense to me. I'm an idiot. Let's move on. There's a door. What the hell? They look like handcuffs, like, you know, uh, what, what, what are they called? Whatever. They look, they look to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Probably. Let's move on. Oh. Damn. Dead end. Let's go. Now we can go down that second ladder. Nothing about Rachel or me was written there. Maybe I needed to keep looking. Don't know what that is. Looks like a cocoon on a light or something. Weird. Let's go. And down the ladder. Crap looks cool. I like. Yeah. <laughs> This is weird. Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. The clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing there? Can you see a picture building up yet? Let's go through the door. I love this moment, the first time I played it. <laughs> That's such a cool moment. <laughs> Batman's near. Shit, I better move on. Don't want Batman to kick my ass. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Right. Let's just check this door before we go down the broken ladder. Ooh. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how steady it was. Did I take it? Let's take it. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. That I thought. That is fucking creepy, look at that. 
skeleton hidden in the wall don't come to life see ya what's that? I had the rope now there must have been a use for it around somewhere yeah let's go and here we go the rope I found would have let me climb down on the broken ladder safely did I climb down? I can't do anything else I can hear a faint hum and the smell from before starts to get worse dead end moving on I'm just checking, pushing up constantly just to make sure I'm not missing anything a bunch of old newspapers were wheat pasted together a message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave in. I should go back. Oh, bollocks. I can't go back. Let's go. I do love the sounds of the door. It's really fucking creepy. Well, that, this was an interesting room. Moving on. And different sound to the door. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I, I I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. At least I thought I had found that old handgun. Sorry, bloody hell, I can't read. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had already it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Ooh, creepy. What's that? An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up that must have been a saw landing. Did I use it? Let's move on. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Thank you. Oh, there was similar dirt on my own shoes. Did I? I came through here. Fuck. Let's go this way first. I could hear a faint trickling sound, like water. What was that? So there's the exit. I should use that, right? Check. A kitchen knife covered in dry blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? I like the feel of being sick. <laughs> Joking. I slipped the knife in my boot since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Well, better to be safe than sorry. It's always thought there was a nice musty smell from inside. Ooh. Alright, so this bit here is a little puzzle. So what you have to do... I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Whatever those valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. So you have to keep turning it until you hear that cl clinking, clinking sound. Probably through the handprint dust, I could see handprints from previous use. Probably from whoever worked in those sewers. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all these pumps working. I wasn't sure what this valve was for. Did I turn it anyway? Keep turning it until you hear the clink. There you go. And now there's two more that you have to do, and then you're done. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Keep going. And one more time. There we go. And there you go. That's all of them done. That turns off the water so you can uh, exit. But what I'm going to do first, I think, <clears throat> is I'm going to go back. Because the door, this door's locked, yes. But there was a. If I remember correctly, there's the exit. So the next one. Yeah, there's ladders to go up here. So let's just check this room first. Which I didn't check last time. 
Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape sticking out. Did I take the tape? Let's take it. I wasn't sure why I hoped to discover the tape, but I took it anyway. <clears throat> so we've checked out this place. Let's go down. 